Hey guys, it's been a while. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff here with the, yet again, more experiments with the magnetic quenched uh, distributed capacitance hairpin inductor center tapped to ground. So we have three ground rods in this scenario. We have A, B, and C, and and I'll show you another case where I use just the one ground rod, either one, and a top capacitance. Um, <coughs> bipolar setup here. And we've got a center tap here, three nanofarads on either side, that, and those three, anyway. Magnetic gap. And this yellow wire is the center tap. And it's going to the spark gap here, which is, I'm just going to use as a switch to unhook it from the ground rod A just to show you and that blue wire it's running underneath there going to the ground rod so over here you get two different things okay B and C are these yellow wires here they're out there they're approximately 20 feet at least 20 25 feet from ground rod A on the opposite side of the garage and uh, right across the two of them is this little LED here in addition to that I have a lead on my ground chassis for the garage ground going to a rectifier charging three uh, 15 microfarads uh, of capacitance and then the other side of the rectifier is going up here and it's just hooked on my window seal now this window metal frame is t assumingly touching the um, the outer f uh, siding of the garage so it's a huge capacitor out there that's not grounded I've come to learn and the voltmeter is reading that so I already get this background line noise coming through there, and you can see I can short it out, and it slowly climbs back up. <coughs> so let me uh, kill the lights here and show you what happens when I turn on. Well, first I'll do it with the lights on. Okay, so we're running over there. Gap's hooked up. This is a voltage climbing. Now this is off of the. Um, let me get this over here. Off of the house, the garage grounding and the window seal only. You know, quickly, we climb up to 120 volts. I can discharge it. It climbs up real fast. And you can see here now the LED across the two oops, the two ground rods. You can see. I'll turn it off. And back on. That's just across two ground rods. Now. It's not even, nothing's hooked up to this circuit over here where I'm pulling 120. These are two separate ground rods, as you can see here. Let me zoom back out. So here, what I'll do now is I'll unhook one ground rod and show you. See, I have to hook them both up for it to work here. But another case here is just adding some inductance, even without the other ground rod, I can still get... Get lighting up. We can still get it to work. Now that's not hooked to anything. This wire here is not even hooked up. Still does it. I can hook it to the center top load. Um, top load here, and it's going down through this coil in the center here. So you can see just that alone, that top load makes it work. And if we can get down here in the dark, I can show you just by touch it with my finger, it lights up. That's only hooked to one ground rod. Now. I could touch both leaves with both with the same fingers and it still lights up, so I'm not really conducting that much energy through through my body as an antenna or whatnot. It seems more like a tuning a capacitive tuning aspect. I'm gonna take it off it doesn't light. And I just you know, touch it here, it lights up. So, but I can't hold it with two separate hands by itself. It doesn't light up. <clears throat> so I have to have the the ground rod, at least one ground rod hooked to it. But if I put it back on, let me put it back on the other ground rod. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, as you see here, it's hooked up. Let me get the light out of it. Um, so now I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to open the spark gap. so that the center tap is no longer in effect. It's no longer center tap to ground. 
and in this case that's no longer there you see our voltage doesn't climb up anywhere near as fast however the light still lit up same effect with me putting my hands on it not quite as bright see a lot more fluctuation so now I think I'm dealing with more RF energy at this point but it's quite different when I gotta shut it off and see it draining you can see the fluctuation is a lot better in the light but it's still getting some effect it must be I must have a crossed wire here or something which is why it's still working Let's see if it works now yeah, still wants to work even then. But not so much voltage climbing up until you hook that to ground. When that's up to ground there, you see there's oscillations in that light bulb until I ground it out and then those die. So, you know, there's not much radiation at all coming off of that when the thing is grounded. But our voltage over here off the other rods shows significantly different. And the light is a good bit brighter off of here. This is quite interesting. These wires aren't hooked to anything except the ground rods. There's no. Show them to you outside. Okay, as you can see, here's ground rod number one going up in the window there, and there's ground rod number two. So these are about uh, three feet apart. And if we walk all the way over here to this side of the garage, we can see this is ground rod A here. You see the blue wire coming out to it, and um, I can put a light bulb on there, I didn't bring any out here, but it will light up the light bulb or the LED. There's a slight bit of radiation that comes off of that. Or I could put a small wrap, wrapped coil with an LED on it next to that and it lights it up. Even a few feet away along the ground plane, it lights it up as far back as here. So it's pretty interesting. Let's go back inside. Okay, we're back. So like I said, there's something funny going on. When that's there, even when that's not there, I still get interesting effects through the ground, which I have to assume is back feeding through the transformer, perhaps. This is 120 here coming in. Um, but only in the distributed capacitance setup. In the standard lump capacitance configuration, the effect doesn't happen. Obviously, we get a shit ton more current through the primary and the secondary proportionately but it doesn't happen when we have a center tap ground here you get just a little bit going into that secondary um, but that 25 feet away between two ground rods is enough AC voltage to light that LED and the same in this case pretty cool huh thanks